Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks. Just yesterday, my mentor made my center of the page rotation a little easier. So I'm going to hit Control C, and now you can see the center rotation. And, and he made it better where no matter what size you had, I had to type in my page size. My page size is always going to be the same. But some people, you know, make their page size the size of their work you know, their plaque or whatever. So I've already had a couple of people email me and wanting it. I posted on Epilogue's Facebook page and I posted on Kirill, my Facebook page. But if you don't, you're not a Facebook person, just email me and I'll send it to you. So what you need to do, and you need to kind of write these down or take a screenshot, you need to go to your C drive, program files, Corel, Corel draw whatever version you have. I have 22. Then you need to go to draw and then you need to go to GMS. So taking Mr. Brewer's email, I'm just going to click on it and put it up here. There it is. I'm actually going to right click and show in folder. There it is right there. I think it's a lot easier than trying to find it. If you'll put it on a thumb drive that doesn't have much stuff on it. So all you have to do is take that and take it to your thumb drive and hit plus. Now, if we look in our thumb drive, there they are. I've actually already had it, but see, it's a lot easier to find. So now what we can do is go to your C drive, program files, Corel, Corel Draw 22, draw, and there's your GMS folder. Now with that kept open, if you'll just click on your, well, it should be, able to, I should be able to see it. Okay, if you do it this way, you can see, so there's your GMS file. Just take that uh, GMS file and drag it to GMS. Now I've already got it, so I'm gonna just not do it. Now, so now it's in your GMS file, but also it's on your thumb drive. So to put it into your macro into Corel, go to, let's see, um, tools, scripts, or yours might say macros, depending on what version, go to scripts and see there it is right there. All you have to do is go load and go to your C drive or your hard uh, USB drive, click on that and put open. I'm not going to do it because I've already got it. So just load USB and there it is right there and then just press open and then that will be there all the time. Now, it's it's great the way it's already at, but you, and I showed in that video how to do a shortcut key. So let's just draw a circle <clears throat> and if I double click on my center of page, it put it in the center of the page. But we can make a macro for, or a hotkey for that. So right click on it, go to assign a keyboard stroke. I've already got alternate C. You can make yours anything you want. You can't use C because it's like center, but you could go through and try, you know, um, you know, you can't use page, uh, you, you can't use Q, or oh, that's no fill. So alternate C is really the best. And then when you got it typed in there, assign it and then say, okay. So now if you watch, I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna alternate C, click on the rotation and it's in the center of the page. And then you can rotate this thing 45 degrees, control D. Let's go back to zero, control D, control D. So we put those circles around the center of the page. Pretty cool macro. So maybe take a screenshot of this or write it down and just follow along. And if you need more help, email me. Anyway, I hope that helped somebody and thank you for watching.